What is up? It's your boy Johnny Tree Live, BB Pro, Mr. Tell Like It Is, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Coaching Up. Today we got Bradley Martin in the hot seat, guys. We're gonna see if his coaching videos give us good entertainment and education, or is this gonna be entertainment? Or is it just gonna be education? Stick and find out. Anyway, guys, it's a really quick video, only four minutes. It's an upper body mashup. So let's check it out, guys. Let's see what we can get here from your boy, Bradley Martin. All right, here we go. First scene of this video, we got an ad for coaching. So you know, be looking at this for some good cues. I want some good cues and good tips. When you got coaching ads at the beginning of your video, I'm expecting to come out of this video learning something new or I don't know. I better leave today with something after watch this video. Coach Bradley Martin, let's check it out. Upper body mashup. What are you talking about, buddy? Uh, I, just wanted, I just wanted to say, like, I've, um, I've been a big fan of yours ever since, like, I was in sixth grade. A few minutes later. Damn, this video starts at two minutes in. This is a five minute video. God damn. All right, here we go. And we are up. Let's go, Bradley Martin. We got tricep extensions. Okay, so, um, I don't know. I know what he's doing. He's doing tricep extensions. All right, so no, no. Okay, guys, you're probably wondering how this rubber band just got here out of nowhere. It just does. It comes out of nowhere when I need some kind of an example here. Do not do tricep extensions like Bradley Martin at all. Look, here's the biggest issue you have when it comes to coaches out there, all right? Not banging his coaching, whatever, I'm saying this. Because the guy looks bigger and better than you does not mean he knows more than you. It just means that he's bigger than you. That's it. The size of the body and the shape of the physique does not fill the brain automatically with knowledge. And it also doesn't mean that person can apply it to someone else. So someone can have bad form at something, but still able to coach somebody with good form. Understand that, right? Right? Understand that. My form right now for cleans isn't that good. Why? Because my mobility is not good for it, but I can damn well teach cleans properly. Here's the thing though, I'm never gonna perform cleans in front of you because I can't do a full clean properly. So I'm not gonna have cleans in my workout for me to show you them and not do them optimally. Make sense? So when you're talking about tricep extensions, you go really quick guys, easy cues. So when we're doing a tricep extension, we want to push the elbows to the ground like this. Remember, shoulder depression, throw your elbows to the floor. Even when you're doing the actual lift, keep pressing your arms to the floor. You can see when I finish off, I'm continuing with my shoulders being depressed with my lats being engaged again, right? So that, okay? Make sure you do that. Do that to avoid all of this stuff. We're not doing that, all right? Like, this is just momentum, guys. Do not do this at all. This is what we call using extreme momentum, right, guys? And now we are doing bench. Guys, again, let's go over some quick points. When we practice, when we warm up, we are warming up to prime the muscle that's being used. So if you're doing bench press, warm up like you're actually doing your hard set. I'm not saying put all the energy into that warm up set. I'm saying perform the rep like it is your hardest set in terms of form, tempo, technique, right? Don't do these <laughs> fast reps and all of a sudden the next rep you're gonna do is gonna be perfect. It's not, right? Then we're gonna go over to bicep curls. Jeez, this guy is all over the place. This is something he probably just put together, probably busy as hell at his gym and is like, I need to do a workout and do a video. Again, guys, don't do this, okay? I'm gonna go back to this again on his bench. When we're talking about bench, guys, we do not want, I keep saying guys, all my circles, all my people. Now everybody the three, one, three. Listen, when we're doing bench, we don't want your head popping up like this. Guys, what looks healthier? This or this? Think of that meme with that girl, and you pick your head up like this, look at yourself, remember that girl in that meme. That's you, don't do it. Keep your head down, neutral spine, shoulder pressure, make sure our shoulders are down, so up like this. And then hold the damn bar, none of this fancy shit. Do not bench press, don't press, and then try and catch the damn weight, okay? Bally Martin's known to do a bunch of weird wonky shit in his gym, he's like an acrobat, bunch of unorthodox stuff, don't do it. That's what he can do, he does it, let him put himself at risk doing those things. You are not Bradley Martin, you can't do what he does. And I would recommend doing what it is in the first place when it comes to actually training. We want technique, I just heard in a video, does technique matter? Yes it does, why? Because it prevents you from getting injured. You will probably get results having bad form. Yeah, we get that, you can probably get good results with bad form, we see it everywhere. But when it comes to being injury preventative, that's the point 
of having good form. It's not like if you have really good form, it's gonna fast track your way to results. No, it's gonna keep you on the good path to great results, but overall, it's going to help us stay away from being injured. All right, so we're watching this guy bench. Do not do this, please, by all means. I ask you guys to please do not do this. Boop, boop. A couple things, guys, girls, circles, please put clamps on your bench. Don't be the superhero that's like, oh, I don't need clamps because I've already seen enough people. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, that's what I've seen a few times. Squatting, benching, happens all the time. Put clamps on the damn thing. And again, we're looking at easy stuff, just easy, easy things that we can do. Like my man is lifting about 32 pounds and he is legit just swinging these weights around, okay? Time and attention, control the weight. If you're gonna do fast reps, it doesn't matter how fast the rep is. Make sure you're controlling the rep. Think of any athlete when it comes to like speed, power, there's still control. Throwing a punch, boxing, there's still control as fast as the punch goes out. You're controlling the punch. You're controlling a swing of a baseball bat. All those things that require speed, power, momentum, all have one thing in common, control. So when you guys are lifting, guys, think control. I don't really care how fast your rep is. You say you're doing 20 reps, okay. Make sure those are 20 controlled reps. Control the rep and down and up. It's as easy as that. All right, let's keep going here. Now again, if you guys look at the way he's benching, I can give it to him this way. He's consistent. He's very consistent in what he's doing. He's consistent in using a lot of momentum, right? And that's fine for him, but it's not fine for you. So for a guy like this, Bradley, my man, Brad, listen, I'm still trying to collab, come out of your gym and train. So don't hate on me for saying this, but if you're a coach and you put stuff out there, you gotta understand that everyone's gonna copy you. They're watching because they wanna see if you know something that they don't know. They're trying to get the answer. What normally happens in the gym is they'll look for someone who looks the biggest or looks the best and try and copy the stuff that they're doing because they must have the answers because they're big, they're strong, they look good, they definitely know something that you don't know, right? Wrong. They could just be doing it longer than you and probably know the same amount of information. So the whole point of us as coaches is to make sure that we are setting the example, right? So when I'm in the gym, I get these comments in the gym. Hey, you're big. Uh, you, how long have you been working out for? Well, big muscles, a lot of hard work, eh? But the ones that I love are ones that literally people come up to me and say, I like watching you because it looks like you're doing it perfect. I literally get that all the time. And that's the compliment for me that I love because it gives me validation and confirmation that what I am doing is right. If I go to the gym saying that I want to focus all my attention on form, intensity, effort, form being the top, and I leave that gym with someone saying, hey man, the weight you lifted with good form was impressive. What's impressive to me is someone who can control a lot of weight. What's not impressive to me is a lot of weight being thrown around. Period. You want your reps to look like precision, like boxer. From a man out there <laughs> who's just a boxing fanatic, this is for you, buddy. But seriously, when it comes to your technique, when it comes to your form, when it comes to you being a coach, everyone's watching you. So if they're watching you, they're at least watching how to do it right. Makes sense? Anyway, guys, show off for you guys. Every once in a while, I gotta put a video out there to show you guys what not to do. But when it comes down to it, everybody has a choice to do the right thing. Guys, I'm always emphasizing good form, but that's not an excuse to lower the weight just to achieve form. That's not the goal. The form is basically there. It's a thing that's never gonna change that can keep you honest when it comes to your progressive overload. So when it comes to you making gains and you're about to make the next step in progressive overload and your form is good, that's when you can make the next step, but only when your form is good. You don't increase the weight when you have shitty reps. That doesn't help when it comes to progressive overload at all. It doesn't. You can still perform and you can still progress, but eventually you're gonna progress and then get injured. That's the whole point of making sure that we have good form is to stay injury preventive, but still work as hard as effing hell. That's it, guys. Anyway, hope you liked the video, guys. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share the video. You know I'm gonna come up with that tell like it is transparent truth. And for coaching, guys, johnnyshreve.net. Book a phone consult, guys. If you actually can book a phone consult right down there in the description. 50 minute or 30 minute phone consults, guys. And at the end of that consult, if you feel like you wanna go with coaching, whether it's a one-time plan or an ongoing plan, I'll deduct the phone consult of any package that you pick. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at underscore johnnyshreve underscore. And don't forget, use my code Johnny15 for Power13, guys. My recipe's in there, and it's a hit.
I knew my recipe would do it. My recipe is so good, guys. Make sure you guys get the cookbook and be ready. Start next week. We're doing a cooking series, guys, starring your boy, Chef Boyar Shreve. Yeah, that's right. Chef Boyar Shreve. I got it all, man. I got... <laughs> I'm not just a pretty face. I'm pretty funny, too. Make sure you guys check out my gym, even though it's closed right now because we're shut down yet again. Impact Fitness 56, guys. Give it a shout out. Give it a follow. Make sure you guys tag me, guys, or post your training videos, training clips. Anyway, guys, you know how it is. Iron sharpens iron. Progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.